On this video, I'm going to be taking the DJI Mini 2 combined with Litchi, which of course is also compatible with the DJI Mavic Mini, the SE, the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S. And I'm going to show you how you can get some absolutely awesome planned cinematic shots. So let's get into it. So on my last video where I used the DJI Mini 2 and Litchi to follow a car or active track a car, don't get me wrong, I think that was a bit of an extreme test. One that I think the drone and the software did actually pass and I think it did an absolutely fantastic job. Active track is going to be there to be able to get some really cool dynamic shots. However, obviously because the drone is having to track and use algorithms, etc, etc, it of course is never going to be absolutely perfect however the two modes i'm going to show you in this video are the ones that really i would recommend and that are really going to be able to get you some really brilliant candid shots but of course planned shots so i'm going to explain them in a lot more detail coming up now now in gps follow mode controller is set as the gps home point so what basically happens is the drone locks on to the gps controller's signal and then what you can do is use the litchi app settings to select the drone's distance and altitude and then of course once you've set your distance and altitude the drone will actually stick using its obviously algorithms and gps location at that exact distance and height now what you can then do is use the setting to select the head Heading with which you want the drone to actually follow you from and then once you start walking or driving in your car or whatever the type of shot you want to achieve all you then need to do is forget and don't worry about the drone you can just try and get that controller out of sight hide it down the side of your body or under your jumper or whatever you want to do and then the drone is just going to follow you and this is going to be able to enable you to get some really amazing planned shots and the reason reason for this is because you know what the drone is going to do at all times you don't need to worry about it tracking you you don't need to check it you know that this software is reliable and you know the drone is going to basically just continue on its path until you tell it to stop and because you know exactly what the drone is going to do you can of course play around with angles you can raise it up you can lower it you can bring it in further you can bring it out further you know you can do all of these shots you can have it tracking you from the front you can have it tracking you from the side you can have it tracking you from behind the possibilities are all entirely up to you this enables you to get the shots that you want now looking at these examples on screen you can see that i took an absolutely beautiful walk down the riverbank basically this morning and i have to tell you guys it was absolutely freezing but i wanted to bring you a cool video that is the gps follow now one thing i have to tell you if you don't know what you're doing okay and you are just messing around with these sliders and this orientation and you don't know exactly what you are doing if you press start okay the drone is going to act exactly how you've commanded so if you've set this drone to go 100 meters away then click start and there is an obstacle in the way then sadly the drone is going to hit that obstacle now I just wanted to give you that warning that please do be careful because the drone is only acting on the inputs and believe me the litchi app for me anyway is absolutely more than usable now of course when we are looking at the second feature i want to show you in this video this is the orbit within the active track function now this is something i didn't show you in my last video but it is one that can also get you some amazing shots now with this tracking orbit basically all you do is you set the drone's distance and height using the controller as you would normally so with the orbit feature all we need to do is click into the track option we then open up the settings okay and then what we just i leave all these settings 
as they are. All I need to do is scroll onto the bottom where we set the orbit speed. Once you have set the orbit speed, now for me, I'm going to start it around two meters per second because that seems quite smooth and cinematic. Now, once I have set that orbit speed, I'm going to use my fingers to draw a box around me on screen, okay? Now, once I've done that, I'm going to execute the orbit. You will see the message on screen. Do you want to execute the orbit at two meters per second? So if I click start, you can see that this drone is now going to track me as I'm walking along the riverbank. But not only is it going to track me, it's going to orbit me as well. So, you know, if you are putting a video together or a collage or just making a movie or making a film using your drone, the, of course, you've got a nice sweep here with a variety of angles and shots that you can actually, you know, put together to get some beautiful, amazing footage. So guys, I just think that is absolutely awesome. And I wanted to bring you these two modes because there was a direct continuation from the active track video. So now you've watched those two modes, please do let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Now, of course, if you have the Mavic Air 2 or the Air 2S, you are going to be used to having these tracking features such as Spotlight or Parallel Track, etc, etc. But if you have the DJI Mini 2 or the Mavic Mini or the Mini SE, these options are really going to open up your capabilities of your drone and allowing you to get some absolutely better shots to be able to achieve much more professional filmmaking so that wraps up the video okay thank you very much for watching now what i'm going to do is pop back to my studio where i'm going to do the draw for the three lucky winners that are going to win a copy of litchi for android so let's pick it up there right then it is time to do the giveaway for three licenses for litchi for android each winner will receive one code each and all you needed to do to be in with a chance to win was to very simply comment the word litchi on my active track video and of course be subscribed to the channel now for anybody that wins my contact details are in the uh about section on my YouTube channel. If you do win, please contact me. I need to see a screenshot that you are subscribed. And of course, I need to see that it is you that owns the channel, okay? Apart from that, here we go. So what I've done on screen is, as you can see, I have shared an online clock, 1823, which of course matches this one right up here. What I'm going to do is very quickly, refresh that so you know that it is live. And I will also refresh my YouTube channel so you know that is live as well. What I'm going to then do is click on my video, which is the live version, and click share to get the video URL. And then what I have here is a random YouTube comment picker. And again, for complete fairness and transparency, I have refreshed that page also. I'm now going to go into this section here, paste the video URL, and click get YouTube comments. Wait a second, 948 comments, that's a lot of comments, okay? And what I'm going to do now is click this filter here. So filter comments based on specific text. Of course, you had to write the word litchi. So let's just type that in and see how many we've got. Get YouTube comments. And we have 824. And just to check spelling and to show that it doesn't make a difference, let's do it with a capital L. And that should give us 824 again. And it does. So what I'm going to do now is click this button here three times. And we're going to see who wins. So let's click start. Zach and Hannah flipping Stockton. There we go. Comment was Litchi. And you are the first winner. Let's pick another winner. Here we go. IT to Cloud Media. You have, of course, won a copy as well. And then let's pick another winner and the third and final. Andrew Brown. So there we have it, guys. We have three winners and hopefully you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out all my other videos on the channel. It really is appreciated. And of course, please do consider subscribing as well. See you again soon.